that this was the strongest emotion of your night. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Finally, my heart is racing. In fact, I don't think I've been beaten for the past three hours. Ah, I told you, you didn't listen. No, I'm going. At least he's an intellectual guy. I'm so sick of those dumb asses. I bet with him at least I can have an intellectual conversation. Blah, 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 blah. I didn't listen to you, so I had to listen to him. Hard to see the cyclical nature of existence as we go on and on through arbitrary words and meanings and symbols and signifiers. So we need to realize that we see the notes and the of the words show you the meaning of the words. The music can sing to any person. And you can see with the dark triangular line running through the sphere, the artist has represented contemporary man's history in his struggle for the search in the meaning for life. You don't mind if I'm your personal guide, do you? When with this cotton ball, dirty and destroyed with mascara, I represent my restless quest for a decent date. And this is my diet now. But if I ingest this amount of protein, which I have here, a couple of bananas, a glass of milk, I'll finally be able to achieve the weight and body mass I'm trying to build. Gay? No. A straight diet freak abducting me to his flat to talk about calories and protein. Oh, that's not boring. That's not weird. You don't know what weird is. That's the culture of people today. I asked her for a book on Jerick Van Houston, and she asked me to spell it. She works here. She has an obligation to know me. I don't know. Wow. Horrible. But the worst is, I'm ashamed of knowing how he feels. So I've been looking at this thing hanging here all night, and I'm just wondering, what does it mean? You don't know. It's a symbol, right? For one of those things you do, dance or something? It's a treble clef. A what? Treble clef. Okay, but in English? Treble clef. Treble? It's music. Is that even a word? Are you comparing me to this guy? Of course not, but one thing is not knowing what or who Mr. Mashawa, a specific Dutch painter from the 17th century was. Another is not knowing what a paintbrush and watercolors are. And the lecture? God, I bet he can't even spell Givenchy. It's a music symbol for goodness sake. He has it on his iPod, on his Spotify. I mean, even if you don't know what it means, if you see a bottle with a skull and two crossed bones on it, you're not drinking the liquid inside. Skull. That's not even a real word. Oh, no, I better drink the liquid. So we need to find a new theatre because it's broken at this point and I think that somehow we need to find a new meaning and purpose and this post-traumatic stripping away of drama